In this video, we will learn the worst and the best qualities of Sagittarius as well as other character features of the zodiac sign. Hello everyone, this is Simona Rich from Rising Moon Astrology. Sagittarius is a mutable sign, which means it changes the seasons. It changes autumn into winter. And in the character of Sagittarians, this manifests as a changeable nature. Sagittarians find it easy to change their minds and take a different road. They can easily leave things that no longer work, even though they have put a lot of work into it. This is both good and bad. It's good because if the path is wrong, even though they heavily invested in it, they would leave, unlike many other people. But it can also be a negative tendency because Sagittarians tend to make up their minds too fast and they might have not thought things through and they leave something that's actually good for them and then they can't get it back because it's too late. This kind of quick change of mind and taking quick action is especially the case for Sagittarian people with afflicted Mars or Mercury in their charts. An afflicted Mars can promote rash action, whilst an afflicted Mercury, very quick decision making when not everything is taken into account. Sagittarians love travel because they love the change of scenery. They feel positively challenged by new experiences. Being exposed to always new things makes them grow and they love dealing with new challenges because of this benefit of it making them grow. They are swift in their movements and if they want, they can act much faster than other zodiac signs and people can wonder how come they have accomplished so much in such a short period of time. Because of the variety of experiences they have gained throughout years, they can do many jobs quite well. They are particularly suited to work as teachers in foreign countries, in the travel industry, and also in religious and educational institutions. We can see that Sagittarius is a dual sign, half man and half horse. In Greek mythology, centaurs were told to be warlike, willful, wild, and lawless. They were symbols of chaos and untamed nature, and they would kick and throw branches or anything that they would come across to protect themselves. They were told to be intelligent and fearless. They could cause much chaos. Sagittarians have this untamed nature that usually manifests as the love of freedom, as the hate of any kind of restriction and rules, and they might be disorganized for this reason. They are the happiest when they can do what they want in life. If their freedom is restricted, even if they have invested in that area or activity, they can just leave in search of the new places with less commitments and restrictions. This is one of the signs that would be happy living with fewer material belongings but with more freedom. Like centaurs, they also have a spiritual nature. They strive towards the divine. That manifests in developed Sagittarians. People who leave the world to live in forests and caves to reach the divine often have strong Sagittarius in their charts. Though the house of Sagittarius, the ninth house of astrology, rules divine things, spiritual revelations, and meaningful dreams, Undeveloped Sagittarians will not have that spiritual inclination. Instead, they would be lawless, unreliable, always in search of new things to do, new love affairs, and they would be very interested in sports. They would so organize their lives that they would have as few commitments as possible. But usually with years, Sagittarians end up becoming more organized because they understand that this disorganized nature and the love of freedom that's taken to the extreme actually do not benefit them. They also with age, if they hadn't done that before, turn to religious or spiritual matters. Sagittarians are natural spiritual teachers that can transmit knowledge because of their visions or dreams. 
But some Sagittarians with afflicted personal planets can become very extreme in their views and they would try to convert others to their way of thinking and they will dislike people who think differently to them. Many missionaries have strong Sagittarius in their charts. It's fun to have Sagittarians as friends because they are adventurous, you will never be bored with them, and they will also share with you their spiritual philosophies which could be very interesting to listen to. Truth is very important to Sagittarians and many of them are lifelong truth seekers. Because of this commitment to truth, they will tell things how they are even though this could be insulting to some people. They can also insult because they lack tact. They are quick to get angry and they are quick to forget. Like Leos, they don't hold grudges because they know their time is valuable and there are better things to do. They are natural teachers whether or not other people want to hear their teachings. They will always share their philosophies and the lessons they learned in life. Sagittarians are excellent learners. But sometimes they end up not pursuing higher education but teaching themselves. And oftentimes Sagittarians experience difficulties in school but when they grow up they become very capable learners. Undeveloped Sagittarians can be self-righteous hypocrites. They might be pointing out the problems with other people not noticing the many problems with their own selves. Also, undeveloped ones can exaggerate their spiritual experiences or travel adventures. After all, their ruling planet is the planet of expansion, Jupiter. Jupiter also makes them very lucky people. They can have many lucky escapes in life because of this planet. Sagittarians are easily recognized by their optimistic attitude. Even in the worst of circumstances, they will still be able to find something positive about the situation. And this optimism, which seems completely illogical to earthy science, for example, can actually make them successful. They are honest, noble, and straightforward. They have average mental capabilities. With age, many Sagittarians become very moral. These people are not detail-oriented but focused on the big picture. They are lifelong learners and they quickly learn from their mistakes so that they don't repeat them because they understand how precious life is. Sagittarians can go far in search of knowledge, especially for spiritual or scientific knowledge. They often travel to other continents for this purpose. They are courageous, ready to experience new things to do and to explore other countries. Sagittarius is the only zodiac sign representing both human and animal. So Sagittarians that are well developed, they represent humans and their aspirations will be towards the spirit. But undeveloped ones will be focused on, as I said, sports and love affairs and things like that, showing the untamed animal nature. In relationships, Sagittarians need a lot of space. They need to feel free, at least there should be an illusion of freedom, because if they understand that they are trapped, they will try to find ways to escape. Of course, if they are developed people, they will be fine with some restrictions, but still the nature is Sagittarian, so they will not like restrictions. For undeveloped Sagittarians, especially if the planet Venus is also in the sign, it could be very difficult to stay in a long-term committed relationship. They might be fine with a partner who is always changing, and there are many changes in their mutual lives. And though they need a lot of freedom in relationships, if they really love, they can be quite possessive. They might have problems in the hip and thigh areas. They might also have problems with arms, such as arm injuries or circulation problems in arms. There could be wrist problems too, as well as they can suffer from fatty liver if they eat too much fat. If they are rushed, they can drop things and be clumsy. They often have problems in the family home or in the area they are born with and usually they have more success abroad than at home, especially they have more success in other continents. Sagittarius is a masculine and positive sign. The following countries are suitable for Sagittarians to live in. Spain, Hungary, 
Yemen and the easternmost part of the Czech Republic. They need a lot of space to be happy and they prefer natural surroundings to the city life. The colors suitable for them are turquoise and purple. The best gemstone for them is amethyst. It helps to remove agitation and anger and it calms anxiety. Yellow sapphire is also a stone suitable for Sagittarians because it's ruled by their ruling planet Jupiter. This gemstone promotes mental peace and raises vibration. The metal of Sagittarius is tin. Sagittarius people get along with Aries and Leo people. They also get along with Geminis, Libras and Aquarians. They often attract people with Gemini characteristics as their partners because Gemini is on the seventh house cusp for Sagittarius Ascendant. It's easy for these two to be together because they are both freedom loving and they like changes. Click here to see my playlist with other zodiac signs. See you in the next video.